Well, the 2022 Trek Rail, the latest and quite possibly the greatest. But with it comes a king size puzzle, a proper brain twister, and the perennial question for any bike customer. Should you go for the latest model or should you save a bit of cash and go for the previous model in the sales? And so with the imminent release of this new bike and the demonstrable differences between it and the previous one, or is that the current one because it is 2021, it is the perfect time to attempt to answer such a massively complex question. This new rail is a very different bike with more progressive geometry, a more seamless digital integration and experience. It offers riders wheel size choice, a light and more natural assist tuning and more range. Ahead of us then, a case study into a pretty complex topic. Hmm, do you know what? I'm wondering just how far and fast are EMTBs actually evolving? Are you gonna be seriously behind if you do not have the latest tech and kit? Should you go for the latest model or should you simply get on with living and riding? So Trek have sent us not only the 2022 bike, but the 2021 bike to act as a comparison. I'm wondering, are they actually crazy? The 2021 Trek Rail is a great bike and has won many accolades based on its performance. Great geometry, pokey motor, 625 watt hour battery, a great range and a great range of sizing. But the grass is greener, right? Oh no, it's actually black and prismatic in this instance, although there are other color options. The details then, big, big changes to the geometry on this bike. The new Bosch Smart System, a 750 watt hour battery, adjustable geometry, different wheel sizes, and of course, the AirWiz suspension setup. We have seen in the mountain bike world that models frequently have changes once every four to five years. However, with EMTBs, we have the added complexity and changes to motor, battery software, and display technology, which means we're almost running in two races to keep ahead, the bike brands and the motor brands. In some ways, it seems, well, from the outside, of course, that bike brands do seem to be edging ahead of each other almost on a monthly basis. However, what we have here is state-of-the-art Bosch locking horns, in a good way, of course, with some Wisconsin wizardry. Well, it's funny, actually, it's almost six years to the day that I rode this bike's predecessor, the 150mm Travel, in these very woods. But this bike now, I'm looking at it, it's longer, lower, smoother, slacker, lighter, and also way more advanced, plus, of course, with that longer battery range. But I think my advice to anybody would be just get on with it, buy the bike, go and live your life. So what about the here and the now then? Now, one thing I need to make crystal clear is that the new 2022 bikes in the 9.7 models and below will still feature the same geometry and motor and battery as this bike. But the 9.8 and the 9.9 .9 versions have been completely overhauled. Uh, there will be five bikes featuring the new Bosch Smart System, and they start around eight and a half thousand dollars. Having said that, there do remain some similarities between the 2021 bike and the new top end 22 bikes. Such things as, well, it's still actually a trail bike, 150, 160 mil travel. It's still got the same motor. You can adjust the wheel size and of course, you can remove that battery really easily. 
it's just a bit bigger. However, there are differences and it is a world apart in so many ways. For example, the shape and size for starters. But of course, the heart of this bike, it has the new Bosch Smart System with the e-bike flow app with some custom track features in there. It has got an adjustable motor, which means you can fine tune this bike. And of course, that battery, which is 20% bigger than the older model. But sorry, folks, you cannot put a bigger battery in the old bike. I want to quickly turn our attention to the history in numbers of Trax mid-travel EMTBs. Now, a minute ago, I mentioned the Trek Powerfly LT 2015 Vintage, which I rode in these very woods. It had 150 mil travel, front and rear, uh, all alloy chassis. It had plus size tires, which happened to be a thing at the time, 500 watt hour battery, and a Bosch motor, which actually wasn't without its faults. Now that bike retailed in the UK at around about four and a half thousand pounds. But if you compare that bike to the current track rail, five, which is actually around about the same price, it's actually so much further advanced than that bike of six years ago. So I think a tick in the right box for the current track bikes. This bike really is full on, up, down, around and across. The key point here is the bike really has been, well, and I hate to use MTB terminology, optimized for EMTB use. It's a story of an evolution of steeper C-tube angles for climbing, longer reach for moving around the bike both up and down, slacker head angle for stability. So these numbers, whether it be on this bike or any other bike, these are a monumental tick in the box of 2022 variety. <laughs> I want to focus our attention now on the heart of this bike, which of course is the new Bosch Smart System. But I want to also point out that it's actually the same motor in this bike as the current 2021 bikes, and it is an immense motor. It's just that you cannot actually get the new technology without the new system. And let's face it, there are some very, very cool features on the Bosch Smart System. Let's have a look at a few of them. First step is the all new uh, Bosch e-bike flow app, which actually connects the minute you start riding. You can adjust the motor, you can adjust the maximum speed, the dynamics, the torque, and of course the support in each mode. The big news I think is it comes with a new LED remote on the handlebar and also the Kiox 300 display. And I really like the fact that you can see the rider watts, the motor watts, the battery life, and of course, swap between the screens and also customize the screens on this bike. Uh, innovations and updates are available live on this bike. So if you think about it, this bike is much more advanced in terms of adjustability over the current 2021 model. But enough of the detail. I'm sure you guys want to know how this bloody bike rides, right? Right? I think for me, the geometry changes on this bike are really significant. More space, more balance. There really is more poise on the rail, both up and downhill. More space to move around the cockpit, more stability on the descents because of the longer wheelbase, slack head angle, low bottom bracket. And maybe two other things as well. I think obviously the 750 watt hour battery gives you greater range. And I think that new Kiox 300 display on the top tube, really visible, gives you all the, all the key metrics such as the watts, the range, the cadence, really cool feature. And the other thing, folks, is I really don't want you to think that we're getting too carried away with this bike, although I cannot vouch for this character. He's down! Woo! 
No, the reason for that is that the lower priced rails in 2022 actually stay pretty much the same as they are now. And as much as we have differences, there are similarities. And I think some of the reasons that people buy bikes are to do with looks, with reliability, and the service network that that brand provides. And I think both models actually tick that box pretty well. <laughs> One other thing to bear in mind is actually these bikes are not identical, similar to the riders too. Now whilst I'm riding the manual bike uh, at £10,000, it is riding the SRAM Axis bike at around £13,500. If, again, you would ask me what I prefer, I actually prefer the manual bike over the Axis. However, many of my colleagues swear by the electronic way. But let's face it, the rail comes in many different specs and prices. So let's not lose sight and refocus for a second on the 2021 bikes. There are currently 14 different versions of the track rail, and if you count in color variations, closer to 40. It's a popular bike, and for good reason. The current bikes start at just over £4,000 in the UK and rise to around £10,000 to £11,000 for the flagship Shimano XTR or SRAM Axis electronic bikes. And should you find a 2021 bike, either in carbon or alloy, they have the same Bosch motor irrespective of the model. They've also got a 625 watt hour battery, four piston brakes, 2.6 tires, and the key thing is the geometry is the same even for the lowest end bikes. And one final and very important point is the Trek Off You Project One, which is an insane array of colorways which you can choose. Fortunately, or unfortunately, it doesn't come with a rider. To attempt to answer the question then, should you go for the new bike or the old one? Three things to think about. Number one, the new bikes are a better shape, there's no doubt, and will also offer a better fit across a wider height range. Secondly, now whilst the motor is the same on both bikes, you can adjust the outputs on the 22 bike, but you cannot on the 21 model. But then again, the 21 can pretty much tackle the same terrain as the 22 bike can. It's just not quite as sophisticated. Except the new smart system motor, battery charge display, and remote will not work with previous generation components. To get smart system updates, you need the smart system, which the 2020 bike doesn't have. And thirdly, the 750 watt hour battery is a banger for sure and will give you an incredible range. But bear in mind, you cannot fit the 750 into a 21 bike though the rider weight will still play a huge factor in range. The bottom line here is that the new bike is very much a fine tune of an already fine tune. But having said that, it's an absolute pleasure to ride both bikes and that they very much don't ride themselves. Oh, and yes, the whirlwind can still be seen roaming the woods. Is it actually safe to come out yet? Ladies and gentlemen, the track rail being railed. I simply cannot wait to get involved in the hills and mountains and trails on this bike. But if you've got any questions about the new track rail, and I'm sure there will be lots of them, please, please get involved. And I'll be more than happy to get involved in trying to help you answer those questions.